Hi everyone, Siege back here with another Monster Train Primordium video for today. And I had fun with the last one. Primordium is a very fun champion to play with. Um, similarly, Umbra as well is very fun to play with. Um, that's two for two. Um, because Primordium really is a very good scaling plan, which is sometimes not present in your runs. You might be looking for a wick clash or you might be looking for a razor sharp edge or maybe an echo chance for a confusion primordium primordium kind of gives you all of that but sometimes not so that's what we're hoping to see today we just finished a run with hellhorned uh we played around with the shadow siege infusion into a horned warrior and unfortunately we did not find a quick to solidify the run but we did manage to win it so now we're moving on to awoken uh default right now um it would be fun with the root seeds variant later down the line but for now we have to deal with restores now i did mention this in the first video primordium does like sweepers a lot and Awoken has two of them, so if we roll into them and maybe see Razor Sharp Edge, we're in for a good day. And the only th way to find out is to just play the game. So, as always, leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and let's see if we can find a friend for Primordium. Let's jump right in. Ooh, I, I do like the starting cards here a bit. We are, again, Exile... No. Yeah, Exile Umbra with Default Awoken against Explosive Sigil Daedalus, Spell Shield Fell, and Diligent Seraph with three... Sorry, five starting spells to add into our already set of spells here. So we currently have 15, which is very good in coming into Diligent here. Uh, we have Space Prism to manage space problems if we have some of them. We have Sharpen that can be used to buff Primordium. Spikes and damage are going to be shared if we see... If we see Super Food, we share Spikes. If we don't, we just share the plus 4. And Excavation Eruption. Not a very good card. Honestly, it's like... Um... That freeze card and ice storm? No. Ice tornado. Um, but this one has attached the uh, slay gain to ember. So it could be a good plus 30 tenon piercing target, but the ember though is a bit high. So unless we could find a way to solve that ember problem, which we kinda have right now. These are two expensive cards, or three. If you count the two copies, the extra copy of Sharpen. So Maybe need to find a solution for that. Okay. We are running into temples in ring 8, 6, 5, 4. Oh, a mid-game temple set up here. No early game temples. Mm -hmm. So it's horde, money, horde into temple 4, temple 5, 6, 8. That's fine. I'm okay with that setup. We have a dead magic shop on 8 versus steel shop with removal dupes. Another dead steel shop, this time on ring 7, with the magic shop and caverns with vortex opposite that. We have a decent steel shop on 6 with caverns. Um, opposite that is a removal dupe with health. Both are decent. You might probably want to visit the removal dupe here on ring 6, that's a lot of value. We have a magic shop with caverns money on ring 5, trinket shop horde removals, which are also decently takeable here, but mm, I might look into the magic shop here. Um, Umbra does like 20 consumes because of blink, so we may get value from there. Ring 4 is a horde with vortex, not a very big fan of that. A steel shop awoken money banner here on 4. That's good. Forced Steel Shop. But before that, a Ring 3 dupe on the left side. Magic Umbra opposite that. Maybe we can see a defensive infusion here. And again, as mentioned on Ring 2, it's a Forced Steel Shop 
awoken banner. Hopefully, we see a sweeper. It would, it would be very nice to see here. Magic shop on the other side is just money, though. We are starting with the horde, a double horde here. Depends on what we really need. Let's check the artifact first here. What do we get? I do like the worn grindstone here into Primordium. Um, this channel heart is a perspective take that I don't want to take perspectively. So let's take the worn grindstone. That's good. Additional damage into Primordium. Makes aggressive edible very powerful actually. But it does buff the superfood as well. Makes it decent in terms of providing damage. It now looks like two similar lines to me right now. You have both damage and um, defense here. And we do have sharpens to really add into this. So I think we can go super food here you always like to go super food with primordium because you can really pass on buffs with awoken here we have region that we can pass around as well spikes are also decently passed on here let's take super food here there are times that you would want to take the aggressive edible but this is not the scenario for that now the question here is can we take that horde 15 shards that Fairly takeable, I would say. Yes. Hmm. Have blinks. Have excavation eruption. I think we can manage this. Fossilized fangs. Hmm. I think we take cheater's hand actually. We could use this to hold on to primordium and drop him in. Maybe wait for sharpens. I like that. I think that's a very good first relic into this combat. Spikes against spikes. We have decent HP here. I think we can manage this. We have blinks to deal with the back lines. It's not armor, so we're fine here. Hmm. Should I hold on to Primordium here? I think I should. Let's blink. Good. Play a morsel. Chain steward. Chain steward middle. It's a good start. Um, I'll hold on to primordium again, I guess. The excavation eruption. No. Blink here. The excavation eruption. I mean. Okay, let's play a train steward here. We have a scary unit coming in here. Okay, I bottom deck all of the sharpens here. Let's blink and blink. Good. More so get drops in. Train steward downstairs. Am I killing myself in doing this though? Hmm. I mean, I could put the Sharpen in here, right? Let's... One, two... I hold on to the other Space Prism, I guess. Let's Blink downstairs. We miss. Let's play Primordium here. Sharpen in front. Space Prism region. Take some damage here. A very good play i would say took 10 there they even have a train steward to use oh no this is pretty bad i would say um let's sharpen space prison i think i maybe i should have played primordium oh no yeah, play Primordium. Don't hold on to him too long. Let's hold on to one other train steward here. Yep, let's just play them both. I think it's important. Okay. Hold on to one of them. Let's excavation eruption here. 
Link downstairs. Good. Play this unit in. And maybe I can blink out here. Hmm, close. Okay. Two, three, four. No, two, three. I should hold on to... Restore. Blink this floor. Drop you. Train steward in. Double space prism. Yeah, that's a lot better. Hold on to a restore here and take double blink. Gonna get the back unit in. Yeah, that's a better unit now. Drop the excavation eruption and we win. Okay. Played around with Primordium too much there. I do like the perils here. Into Primordium and Superfood. Yeah, take perils here. Snap click. Steel Enhancer is good here. I mean, the ping is nice, but sharpen steel stats are good to Primordium here. Yeah, grab the stats, I think. Yep. Um, we look for a sweeper now. Magic shop next. Yes. Do we get a sweeper though? Yes, the beefy one. I like it. Endless, plus stand, spikes, we spin. A quick sweeper. Yeah, sure. Quick sweeper it is. Do I need the money? Um, Sure. Move on. That's a quick position to make. Mark of Invasion here. Um, This is free. Thanks to quick. Yep, this is free. And the blink makes this a lot better as well. I should blink bottom floor i guess so one two three hold on to the other blink for next turn let's blink bottom floor we get one nice there you go that's the setup i could get the train steward killed here which i think i will remove that from the pile that's nice Okay, I do want to play the Blink middle here. That's good. Steel Enhancer for two turns is also nice. I should play a Train Steward downstairs and a Blink there as well. Double Morsel. Play that behind so that you can eat, be eaten. Take space, top floor. Yes, we Blink here. Good. Morsel got... To be chomped there. Play train steward middle. Nice run here today. A very nice run. Let's hold on to restore. Play double sharpen into shelter mid floor, I guess. Okay, just continue to blink here. Let's hold on to excavation eruption. We blink once. We get some heals in. And we have a 70 by 52 unit here. We should be fine. I have 7 ember. Hold on to restore. Blink. Nice. Restore. Excavation. We're good. I think it's going to be a simple run today. Maybe even a speedy one. Let's take Prismal Dust. It's a good superfood card. Um, I think I'll take Vine Grass this time. I do want to ping. Yep. Let's take Vine Grass here. Only one Steel Enhancer is needed here. The dupe on the other side is not needed. Let's go right. Give me Holdover and... <laughs> This is going to be a very easy run today. Hopefully. 
get a plus 10. Um, should put that into a restore, I think. Get a decent heal. Yeah, get a decent heal. Put that on restore. You have a sweeper, so this things are not really super necessary. Let's let's minus one a sharpen here. Pin. Um, a permafrost. No, a twenty consume on a blink is nice. Another minus one on the other sharpen. Make that free. Good. Um, let's check the Umbra banner. I will take a Crucible Ward in here as an infusion. Check the Horde as well. Whew. Hmm. I mean, both are good here. The problem with Chain of Gems is that I have to take Ember Drain, but... I mean... Hmm, mine jacks though. No. Could take first help act. Could make my prismal dust a whole lot better. Put intrinsic on that and that's gonna be like chain of gems. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a better overall relic because it can affect other X cost cards that Umbra has a lot of. Chain of Gems, though. Hmm. Now, if I see Intrinsic, I definitely put it into the... That card. Prismal Dust. Let's take first help back here. That's like 3 damage shield. Which is better. Um, nothing else I can buy here. Check the caverns. What do we get? Stygian Melting Hellhorn. Burnout. I think I'll take Hellhorn. Imp in a box. I think that's okay. I will take it. We move on. 40 shards. This should not be very difficult to run today. That's what I'm hoping though. I will hold on to what? The Crucible Warden. Let's play Primordium. Sharpen. Six damage shield. Oh, that's gonna be a very good unit. We now hold on to Crucible Warden again. I play Hermit, I play Perils, Face Prism, Restore. Um, I guess I put the Train Steward somewhere else. Yeah, and I just keep on playing. I'll hold on to the Crucible Warden here. The reason for that is I can use him as a chomp blocker later. When the going gets tough. And when the tough get going. Good. We're passing on how much damage shield, hello? Seven? That's a lot. Hold on to you, my friend. We blink. Oh, it's getting burned by the extinguished triggers. It's annoying. And blink downstairs for some morsel action. Drop this downstairs as well. Yeah, he's burning through my damage shield. It's annoying here. Hold on to you. I play imp in a box. What do I get? Ooh, a fire chomper. Could use that. Here? No. Here. Good. And then I could play this one in front to tank the hits. Good. Yeah, it's an easy run today. I like it. Spikes. Let's play Blink. 
Good. Yeah, it's just a slam dunk win, I would say. Space prism, we blink, blink. Get the morsel. Like it. That's a very powerful unit, I would say. Put this in front. We restore, restore. We find grass and we win. Now we hunt for multi-strike. Is the next thing that we're looking for. I don't think I'm taking a shroud spike. Or am I? It's a decent card. Although the morsel generation is pretty bad. I'll skip that. Let's take unleash. Mm, that's multi-strike. Right? Should take it, maybe? I guess. Quick multi. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, I do like the Crucible Warden Infusion. It's very stat heavy. But I think the multi-strike here is also very good. Um, we take draw here. See more cards. That's good. We go right here for some upgrades. And decide what thing we're going to be putting into our main unit. I should spin this. No multi-strike here. Okay, they don't give us the multi-strike. So it's good that I picked up the Animus of Will then. So this is... No. To skip. Champion today is going to be, yes, sir. Stalwart snack is just right here. I think we do the infusion now. Give me spell chain. Ooh, I like it. It's a lot of scaling. I just need zero cost cards now. To avoid the diligent problem. I have a tenon piercing here I could put into vine grass. Hmm. Take a plus 25 and then... Hmm. Do we take the infusion now? I think we do. Yes, we take the infusion now. Animus of Will. Into Hermit. Good, we now have multi-strike. We cut the Hermit... Sorry, the Warden out. So that he doesn't get in the way of our draw. And I just leave the slot open, I guess, for possibly uh, this side. Or, yeah, this side here. I guess. I don't think I need to take the Tenon Piercing here. I could skip it. And I don't think this is needed in particular. We could move on here. 80 shards is a lot, but we are powerful here. Yep, we could take the plus six. It's not conduit, so we're fine. I do like the steel enhancer sharpen turn one here. Let's hold on. Hmm. I could actually use that to pop this. Hold on to blink then. Plop excavation eruption. Oh, now I can't play the sh Sharpen. Hmm. That's a bit sad. Hermit, Primordium, Stats. Uh, I skip that. Hmm. I'm slightly s bummed about that, but we're fine. Hold on to Unleash here. Let's double blink top floor to get a morsel. A good morsel. Sharpen would have been very good here if I if I took it. Hold on to the Unleash. You play Imp in a box here. The armor is nice. Uh, let's play Molting Imp downstairs. Let's play the Vine Grasp here. Play Double Train Stewards. Here. 
Okay. Can I reasonably kill that enemy? Hmm. Have all the ember in the world now. Let's play blink. Play blink. Play space prism. Okay, who gets this? Um, I add rage 3, which is 9. Times 2 is 18. Times 2 is 36. I think I put it here. Mm, still taking some hits. 113, I leak 20 something. That's fine. Let's play train steward in the back here. It does a little more. Okay, I take 18. Because of that miss sharpen, I would say. Yeah, it is because of the sharpen. I would really blame that on the sharpen play. Should have just taken the... Not played the excavation eruption there. Hmm. Heal, heal, heal. Good. Should take out those curses down there, but don't have the tools for it. Good. And we just win here. Right? Hold on to this. You play this. This. Play the train steward in front to chomp block some hits. And we win. Good. That's a quickie one today. It's Power of Primordium. Void Binding. Although Prism Retrieval seems like another thing we could play into. But it takes some finagling, that card. Let's take Void Binding here. It's so good. We skip these cards. Um, Magic Shop time. 20 consumes, minus ones, I would take. Trinket Shop on the other side is good as well, actually. Double Horde, you have the money for it. But I do want to take some minus ones here. I think that is important coming into Diligent. Yep. I will skip that Trinket Shop for minus ones. Remove Consume. And Prismal Dust? Definitely. 20 consume a blink. Minus one. I think the sharpen here. If you see that early, that's a good card. Permafrost. I do want a permafrost. The void binding. If I see it too early. Or just the unleash for emergency. I mean, maybe not anything here though. Nah, I save the money. Take a plus 10 into... Maybe a restore again. Minus 1 here should go into the sharpen. That's a lot of value from that shop. Ooh, a minus 2. How about a minus 2 prismal dust? Yeah, I'll take that. It's a lot of power in this run. What's the caverns event today? Um, let's pay money. Two? Hmm. Shade lamp. I mean, sure. Can be chomp blockers. It's not bad. Moving on. Let's go for the... The removal dupe seems nice. Second copy of Perils is amazing. See it faster. The removals are also good. The health is also appreciated. I technically don't need another upgrade into my Hermit. So I'll just wait for this side here. And let's take the removal dupe health here. Coming up. Which means I could actually cut a card, which is going to be 
Hmm, how many magic shops are we reasonably seeing here? One? If I'm seeing one, then I should cut one plink here and move on. The plinks are not really doing anything for us. The multi-strike here is... not a major problem. Okay. Yeah, there's the sharpen. I mean, we did put double minus ones into the both sharpens. Yep. So, three ember is one, two, three. No. I'll hold on to restore here so that I can blink here. Huh. I missed. Too bad. Sharpen steel enhancer. Train steward gets skilled. Okay. I should hold on to void binding. Play sharpen. Blink. Thank you. <laughs> That's a lot of morsels. Let's take um amber and then let the other ones suicidely die in other floors they're dying we don't need them though that's fine let's hold on to void binding for now play blink give me damage please Thank you. Let's play... Hmm. 35, 35 is 70 plus 19. I should pull in front here. We should... Blink? <laughs> I missed. Okay. Everyone's dying, but we're fine. Okay, we see the perils now. We should be able to play everything. Still two turns in Primordium, so we could get double the value of everything here. Hmm. To play here. Excavation eruption. Yep, double more, so it's nice. Play the Queen Zimpling somewhere. Play the Welder Helper at back. Okay, we're looking for some intrinsics here. Play this, this, this. I should play out the train stewards here. And then get 7 damage shield. How on earth is the enemy gonna get through all of these damage shields? I do not really know. Play morsels at the back. We get eaten. Good. Yeah, we're winning here. No major concern. No major problems. That's yeah, the power of sweepers and primordium. There you go. It's a win, right? Yep, it's definitely a win. You can get to slam another... Prismal Dust action here. Another 9. We have 23. We go down to 16. Okay, I mean, sure. Thank you. Feast. No. Shroud Mitosis. No. Cave in. No. We skip. Ensnare is good for mini bosses. We should take this card. Even freeze that. Would be good. Let's go right here. Definitely. Grab the health. The removals are... Train stewards. The restores are not that great, but diligent. How many cards do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22. 22. What do I have here? Plus 30? No. Purge? No. Infusion? No. Leave the temple alone. Let's 
cut restores. I have 22. Cut restores here. Dupe here is definitely a second perils, right? Seeing that card early is important. Sure. Go to 105. This is diligent, so we don't worry about trample or whatnot. We should be fine here. Let's move on. We are not touching the temple today. Okay. Spell Shield Fell should fall down without major problems. Uh, let's hold on to Void Binding here. Can I play bottom? No. Eight? No. I can't. Sharpen, Space Prism, drop the Train Steward middle. Okay. Okay, let's hold on to Void Binding again. Let's play Sharpen, Steel Enhancer. Vine Grass here, and then 6 damage shield. Okay. Hold on to Void Binding again. We need to cut the bad cards, really. This 29 size deck needs to be slimmed down even more. Um, Let's get a Train Steward Guild. Let's get some restores, I guess. That's good. We have more cells now coming into the play. And we have found the good things. Okay, we have two turns. Um, I should just ensnare that guy. Yep, I will ensnare that guy. More cells drop in. Train Steward dies. Blink plays out. Good. Now we have enough damage to clear floors. Yes, we have. Drop Imp in a box. Ooh, Rage. Love it. Keep the other one. The slam. Don't even need a third multi strike, although it is appreciated. Hold on to ensnare. Mm, no need. Play the perils. Sharpen, vine grass, miner, excavator. Click the cards. Nothing to talk about here. Just really need to clean the deck up so that we can initiate the combo much earlier. Good. This might be slightly a problem with um, Diligent. So we really need to address that so that we don't falter. Train Steward, go. Don't want to draw you again. Let's play 9. Sorry, 13. We have 43 damage shield. Wait, what? What do you mean? I mean, we're just that powerful in Primordium. I was really waiting for this champion. The dopamine and levels of fun is really here. Okay, why did I put those units there? They should be at the back. Chilling. Surviving. Okay, they're now not dying. Spell is dead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. You give me a trample stone. Do I take the trample stone? I mean, yes. Shroud spike is here again. It's a good spike, actually, but... Trample stone. Then... Draw? Can play middle here, actually. 
where our units do fit middle floor, but we have a problem of not scaling fast enough there. We want magic shop here and removals. We want to put minus ones on other cards like um, the restores. That's important. Champion here. I am honestly considering Stalwart's knock here. But the problem with that is he gets swept out by Divinity. So I have to take the damage shield drought because I don't have intrinsic on my Prismal Dust. Yeah, Superfood 2. Yep, Superfood 2. Magic Shop here. A Permafrost should be placed on Ensnare. Hmm. Well, I actually have the Cheater's Hands. I don't need to play Primordium early. Yeah, I should have taken the Talwart Snack too. Okay, what should we freeze here? Let's freeze the Void Binding. Hmm. We have another temple. Yeah, we have another temple. Okay, how many cards do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 cards. Consume another blink. Let's get a minus 1 into... Restores. It's gonna be our emergency place into some other card. Let's put the permafrost on and snare. Yes. Spin. Another remove consume. What where would have that gone into? Not sure. None really. Take a plus 10 in Vine Grass. Take another minus 1 into the other Restore. Okay, the removals here are simple. It's double train stewards. Yep. Um, checking the caverns. Hmm. How about I pick up a dead weight? Sorry, I mean, pick up Penitent Remain. That buffs Primordium, gives us more damage. Yeah, sure. Like that. The dex is kind of massive right now. But it does slim down. We have a lot of consumes. Sure. Do I take the money here? Yes. Move on. Next is Steel Shop. I think we're fine with Aggressive Amulet here thanks to Penitent Remains. We should scale fast enough here. And a turn 1... Barrels? I mean, thank you. Oh, even Void Binding is here. So it's just... Drop Primordium, play all the buffs. We, we won already. No questions asked here. Can even have played bottom actually. Could I have played bottom? No, no, no. That is incorrect. Let's play excavation eruption. Oh, it got me the collector. Get the damage in. Let's get the trample in. Space. Morsel. Heal. Good. And the curses are annoying, but we can surely play them out. No problem there. Let's blink out some curses if we can. I don't think we can. Restore. Strange stewards go and die. 44 minutes into the recording. Can we clear this in under an hour? Hopefully. Mm-hmm. 
curses out first. Imp in a box drops. Ooh. Did I play any more souls yet? I mean, I don't think so. It's just X Prismal Dust action here. Pass on a lot more damage shield. Which should sec secure us the victory, really. Okay, now play the perils in front since we don't need them at the back. Train steward dies. Yeah, I'm cutting the last two train stewards later. I think that's imperative. Hmm, more so, more so. Blink. Restore. Yeah, that boss is dead, honestly. I mean, the Morses are playing anywhere, but I sweep quick and I don't have problems with that. Blink, play the Transcendent in the back. Okay, let's continue playing cards. I could just end turn actually, I feel. And we win. Perils, perils. There you go. That was quick. <laughs> no pun intended. Even engine upgrade. No, we skip this cards. Focused growth. Fire grow, invigorating. Invigor invigorating is nice. It draws me faster. Let's take it. It's a very big deck. Magic shop. More minus ones. I have decent number of zero cost cards here. I think we should be fine. Okay, what do we have here? Another plus 30. Another minus one. And an infusion. Nope. Drink a chop. What do you have for me? Spin? I mean, vine grass. Sorry, cursed vine. <laughs> I read the word there. No, it's cursed vines. Definitely a snap click. That answers diligent. So we are now home free. Large stone. No. Give me a multi strike. Another quick. I'll take a damage shield, I guess. And we're done with that. The removals are... I can now remove... A Plink. Because it's not good. I have Cursed Vines. So we should not fear... The enemy now. I think I could cop... Cut Excavation Eruption. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, I cut that card. Sorry. The dupe here... Should I just get a second copy of Ensnare just to answer mini boss as well? Or just second copy of Prismal Dust would be nice as well. Yeah, just hold things down. Hmm. Second copy of Ensnare. Could cut one restore actually. It's not good. It's one cost. Train stewards are fine to stay. Maybe just another copy of Void Binding. That's more damage. Six. That's twelve. Considering another Prismal Dust, but we have Quick, so we just should not have major problems there. Um, I just take another Void Binding. Not increase the shards. It's a smart thing to do. Trinket Shop. Firewall in case curses. Or just cut some cards. I guess we just cut some cards here. The store is not doing anything. Cut it. 
You have 165 gold. Hmm. They have something here. Plus 30. Purge? What do I purge here? Nothing? We stay AS? We stay SS. No need to increase the shards into a level that just gives us more problems. No, though I don't think we have any major problems in this run since it's Primordium. It's a fun champion. It's a very powerful champion. Let's go. Cursed Vines. Thank you. Bought this diligent well. There you go. Hmm. This boss does not hit us, right? So I could hold on to Hermit here. Until I see some good cards. Um, Is that correct though? 190? I, I think I still need to drop him in. Let's hold on to... I guess I'll play the Plink. I'll also play the Invigorating. So it's a tiny version of this guy. You play everyone here. Right? Yep. Then I play... Vine Grasp. Here. Play Plink downstairs. You might get a Morsel. Should have played that first though. Morsel again. Let's play Invigorating. Let's play 4 Prismal Dust. Get this one killed. Need to reach um, 95 is the number. Hold on to Void Binding here. Okay. Um, 169. I go 28. 38, 46. That's not gonna be enough. So, do I just play that card then? Let's hold on to Trample then. And then let's play... I'll burn the Restore. I, need, I guess I need to play this. Is the gamble correct? Yep, the gamble is correct. I pull here. Play sharpen. Yeah, I'll just root this guy here, no problem. Then I can buff in the back. I can even play this too and trample in front. Be clear. Okay, we're out of that difficult part. Now it's on to the fun part. Just buff primordium for two more turns. And I burned man of my perils. This was a bit dumb dumb of me, but we're gonna be fine though. Get some more morsels in. Let's get the damage ones in first. And let's get the other one scaled off lore. I burned one of my perils accidentally. Um, that's fine. We shouldn't lose here any anyways. Burn that. Sparrow's in front now. I'm really glad I took that um, Animus of Will though. Ooh, I'm an Impish Caller. What do you bring back though? Big question. Double more so? How about you? What do you bring back? Another trample. <laughs> Don't need it though. Sorry. Okay. It's just simple. Just play vine grass first. Okay. Don't mess it up. It's important. You need at least one perils to win. Let's play blink here. Maybe we avoid the curse. Good. We freeze. 
I don't know. No one. Give me my vine grass. Thank you. Actually, I should have, should not have killed that guy. It's better to trample over the damage than to reduce the number of enemies. That's important considering trample. Good. We have one cursed friend still roaming around. Pull this guy. You sharpen. Barrels here. Heal Enhancer, Void Binding, Prismal Dust. Yeah, it's a sure win here. From the moment we saw the other cards. I think the Holdover sealed this run already. From the moment we saw Holdover Perils. Usually the run closes out. Okay, Restore, Perils. And this should be a lot easier into the Divinity because you don't have to worry about consuming our spells. Yeah, we have 47 damage shield. I don't know how the boss is going to go through that. Okay, one more combat. Four minutes. Yeah, we could close this out in four minutes. Just have to click as fast as I can. Perils turn one. Amazing. Let's click the vine grasp here. Let's play Animus, Primordium, Double Perils, Vine Grass, Double Train Steward, Mid Floor. Okay. I'm hoping to see. Yes, Prismal Dust. Thank you. That's Perils. Perils. Play this. Vine Grass, Restore. And snare. And just drop 9 damage shield in the back. Okay, we're immortal now. I oh, see the second perils. Still have 3 turns in Primordium. Blink. Purge. Good. Just sweep around. Is this spikes gonna be a problem? I don't think so. Um, let's play this, this, Ombre Stone in front. Let's play Imp in a box. Ooh, Rage. Do like Rage. Play this downstairs. Morsel are not gonna get eaten though here. Because of boss sweeping and all. Play this in front now. Unless I protect the morsels. Could do that. I think it's much better playing it on the sweeper though. Are we not trampling through? Ah, we are. Our draw through is like 3 plus 2. Very few cards. We've cleared everything. It's just the essentials now left in the deck. Okay. Perils. Per How many damage shield do we have? Can't even see. Because of all the cards in my hand. I have how many? I have 23. The boss only swings once. Perils. Perils. Fourteen prismal dust. Hello. We win. And that's primordium with the sweeper. Quick run. Even got the penitent remains. It's very good for primordium. This relic. Even have worn grindstone. So that's a lot of extra damage in. Yeah, a simple win. It's what I'm expecting out of primordium. It's 
Ting. Okay, it's, yeah, less than an hour. I have to run through the explanation, though. So, um, with Awoken and Umbra, you're always looking for sweepers. If you can get one and have some items to buff your Primordium, you should be fine. And you just address some problems that you might encounter, like um, holding down mini bosses with Ensnare, um, getting more copies of Perils to see it faster so that you can set up faster as well, get buffs like Prismal Dust, Sharpen. Take note, this Sharpens were reduced to zero cost with four minus ones. Um, what else? Steel Enhancer is good, Ombra Stone for Sweepers. Trample is very powerful. Void Binding is the ultimate buff card. Vote damage and survivability. You have Emergency Healing here, although I don't think it's really needed. Maybe I should not have picked it up, actually. Blink goes away. It's a good 20 consume targets. Invigorating Solution to draw us through the deck faster because we did have a lot of cards. Vine Grass was a ping that we needed. And yeah, that's your run. I mean... Worn Grindstone Cheater's Hand first help pack as our first three relics were really enough to close out the line. And then we have Penitent Remains, which is gravy. Similarly, Cursed Vines is also good here. I think we could have managed um, Diligent well, though, even without the first Vines. But this artifact trivializes Diligent. So, yeah, that's your Primordium run with the Sweeper. Next up is Stygian. They also have Sweeper, so it should look the same, probably. But that's for the next video, so leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and as always, guys, remember, sweep the day. Thank you very much for watching.